Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's answer the question, should you put your face in your videos? Okay, so today I want to talk about a comment we got on episode 492 from John Dupuy, who says, uh, John, and I hope I pronounced your surname correctly. Uh, he says, uh, a possible topic slash question for a future video. Any experience with the importance of showing your face online? I learned the lesson hard when doing YouTube video, but I've started experimenting with it in other contexts, such as video advertising, banner ads, and even the pre-roll that shows on my Google store entry has my ugly mug introducing the video. John, you don't have an ugly mug. And I've, I've done the exact same thing with the, uh, with the Google Play entry just to see how that worked. Uh, what is weird is that my own YouTube channel is about computer programming. Seeing a face adds no real value, but the face makes such a big difference on view rates. John, I totally agree with this. It really does. And John, I've watched some of your videos too, and I think it's much more engaging when you show yourself on camera and not just show the coding right and it's something i found again and again and you're right logically it makes no sense especially as computer programmers we're kind of like we're not that you know it's not that big a deal of us to see the person talking to us i mean we could listen but it really makes a huge difference i mean i have one experience where a few months after i started doing the weekly videos i started getting a bit more used to being on the camera i did a i had this small project so i was still contracting at the time i was well i was taking on not full-time contracts, but just sort of like a few jobs here and there. And one of them was this bit of SharePoint work. So I had to do this SharePoint website thing, right? And I had to give a demo of it and I was gonna basically send them a link so I could get their initial feedback on it. But I thought, well, I'll just start up Camtasia and I'll do a video. And I just did a, a quick video saying, here's how it works. You click on this, you click on that. Uh, and it was much faster than if I would wrote a bunch of documentation on how everything worked, or if I just sent them a link and said how everything worked. So what I decided to do was rather than just record the screen, I decided to, to use the webcam too, so I have my picture up in the corner. And that, they came back with so much good feedback on that. They said, we feel like, we, you know, we feel like we completely understand what you were saying because I would stop, you know, you'd be, I'll be typing on stuff and I'll go, okay, you click on here, this opens up this section and I'll say, okay, the reason I thought about doing it this way was because of this or whatever, or, or you know, if there's something to say. Um, the, the users might be confused about this because if you notice you click on here, it does this. So this is something you might want to think about. And it was just an unlisted video which I sent to them and it was circulated all over their company. It was a very large company. and. I went in for the first meeting with them so we could discuss you know, releasing the application and it felt like everybody already knew me. Everybody was already coming up to talk to me because they had seen my face on camera. I thought it was gonna be a shorter group of people. I mean, I was wearing a baseball cap. I would have dressed up a little bit more, but just the fact that my picture was on there was, a, was just a huge benefit. And I think it was just that engagement of it. I mean, and I, I found that so many times. I do that with clients. I did a video about this last year, how I said, if I do a, a demo video, like we're at the, we're not at the beta stage yet. I can't send them a build just yet because it's just gonna crash all over the place and we're not ready, but I can show a video where me clicking around on stuff. I will do the, uh, the video, uh, the phone on screen, but me talking at the same time so we can have that, that interaction and, the, and they just, it's almost like having a conversation, but one that they can go back and, and do again and again. And we do the same thing for, um, for SOPs, like if, if we have a task here within the company for, the, for, uh, for a VA to work on, that's something that we'll do. Um, I'll record it on Camtasia because it's faster to record it. You talk to the screen and they can watch it over and over again and, and just see how things work. And I think, I think we're getting to the point soon where documentation is gonna be replaced by video in many cases. In fact, that one project I did, the SharePoint, they basically said that they were gonna do all future projects that way. And it's not just that client. I mean, I've had several clients tell me that. I've had one client, um, another large company, where their head of IT, who I wasn't even in conversation with, sent me an email saying, hey, we were watching your video on how to use our new app, and we, you, know, you really opened our eyes to how things can, can work. And I thought, dude, all I did was record a video, and if my face wasn't on it, then it would have, you know, it just didn't feel as engaging because there's certain times where you just want to talk and look at them. So if you're going to do that, and I highly encourage anybody out there who's going to start a YouTube channel or if you're even doing documentation for users, 
think about doing this, giving a documentation in video format. Don't be overly formal about it, just like you're having a conversation. And when you're doing stuff, like even if you're typing, if you're coding, whatever, stop and look at the camera and say, okay, this is why we're doing this part, because this, 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 and then and just do that and it's great. One of the benefits of doing camera work and doing stuff on video as opposed to in person, face to face, is that you can make eye contact much easier. <laughs> That's one of the things I find. But John, excellent question. I encourage anybody who does videos to yes, try to put yourself on camera because I think it's a huge benefit. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys are tired of seeing my ugly face every day. But anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.